there's a massive difference between affirmation and praise. In our marriages, we need affirmation and we need praise. But more often than not, what we actually get is 90% of praise and very, very little, if any, affirmation. This morning. It's great to be with you on this beautiful fall day. It's good to have the cold temperatures, right? Yay. Hey, so this morning, um, if you are visiting us for the first time, we just want to take a second to tell you thank you. We really appreciate the opportunity to serve your family. When you guys came in this morning, you received the November copy of The Creek. That just gives you a really great month at a glance at all the things that you have uh, for your family, for your kids. Um, You can also find all that online as well. As you saw in this video, we are super excited about an upcoming marriage conference called Stronger Together. The gentleman that you saw in that video, Alan Kelsey, he's actually the co-author of a really popular marriage book called Strengths-Based Marriage. And we are super thrilled to be able to have Alan and his wife live here on campus for that marriage conference November 8th and November 9th. And then as a gift to all the participants, Bencha Baker from the TV show The Voice and also from on our worship team right here, she's going to be gifting us in song between some of those sessions. So it's going to be a really great conference. And then I understand that if... Spencia and Alan Kelsey and his wife aren't enough. For those that sign up, uh, the first 80 that sign up also get free child care. So uh, as a mom of three, I will just tell you, never turn down free child care, especially uh, on church campus partnered with a marriage conference. So uh, Doug and I hope to see you there. It's going to be a really great conference. This Sunday wraps up three months of highlighting some of the ministries that we don't always get to see when we're in this room on a Sunday morning. Uh, So we started with our student ministry, uh, then we moved to Kids Creek, our children's ministry, and this month we've been highlighting our group's ministry. And I just want to tell you this morning uh, that we do that not to say, yay, Civil Oak Creek and all the things we have to offer, but really to let you know the things that happen for your students, for your children, uh, ways to connect uh, in friendships, and also to let you know that there are a whole group of leaders and volunteers who truly love your kids, love your students, want to be friends with you, and so uh, that's why we've highlighted those ministries. So Before we begin worship this morning, let's spend some time in prayer, um, if you'll bow your heads with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I just uh, come before you this morning. Lord, we know that uh, we walk through these doors uh, sometimes with our hair on fire and our to-do lists in our head, and uh, Lord, we just ask that you enter into this building this morning. Um, We pray for everybody that walks through the doors of our student ministry our kids' ministry, throughout the week in our small groups. I lift up those leaders and those volunteers, and most importantly, the folks that attend that, that they get the opportunity to meet you, Jesus. Lord, we come before you this morning just wanting to know you more and to figure out how to follow you closer day by day, moment by moment. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. excited that you're here today and we'd like to invite you to join us stand and we're going to spend some time singing some songs to praise our great and faithful god
thank you so much for today. God, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you that even in the times where we don't see or feel, you are there. That you will always be there. Lord, for the people in this room that can't see you, God, I ask that you show up in their lives, show up in their situations, God. Please open our ears and our eyes to just hear whatever it is that you have for us to hear today, Lord. Thank you so much for you. In Jesus' name, amen.